Hi, it's the Juilliard here. Let's try our hands at these new resin fountain pens. The molds are a two-part mold. We've got a base mold, a cap mold, with an insert, a plunger. It comes with the metal fountain pen. You want to find your favorite resin. You want to have a bottle of soapy water with a needle tip, glitter, your ink, and some clear nail polish. Now I found that the best way to get an overall finish inside the pen was to use some nail polish and do a light coat and then just dip into my glitter. Would also be a great way to add a message on the inside so that it's more encapsulated looking. And so we do the same for the base. Do a nice thin coat and dip it into the glitter. Look how nice that looks. Okay, so now it's time to put the resin into the base mold. So I'm look using liquid diamonds here, but you could use whatever you want. And you're gonna fill that up about half full. I did leave this clear because I wanted that core of glitter but you could add pigment or more glitter into the resin as well uh, so that it fills up into the end. You wanna do a nice little squeeze and as the plunger gets pushed down, you'll see the resin comes up through the tiny holes. That's also where the air bubbles will release from. And I've just stuck it in a little container to help keep them upright. And now we do the same for the base. Now here you, I just added a little bit of glitter to maybe get down to the tip. and then we'll insert the plunger. And if you don't get enough resin, you, you can always add more. Um, you just wanna make sure you do get enough or you won't have the full pin. And you can see the resin coming up through those holes now. And I'm just squeezing to release and kind of shift the glitter around to release any extra bubbles there might be trapped in there. And that's it. And then we'll let it sit overnight. So here we are the next day. Now it's time to demold. And this is where the soapy water comes in hand. So we just give it a nice little twist and there you can see it releases so easy. Now we'll add a tiny drop of the soapy water around the edge. This also works great for those uh, pendant molds. And then just kind of work it around. And you'll see here it just will release so easily. Yep, see? <laughs> released real easily okay and then we do the same for the base and give it a nice little squeeze and work it around and just so easy to come out of the mold there we go look how nice those look and see what I mean by the color how it fills it up it looks like you cast it in, but you didn't. And now we're just gonna take some little nail uh, scissors and trim that flange off. Be really careful here. You don't wanna get into the pin wall. You just wanna take that bottom flange off. This is why it's important that you make sure that the resin does fill that entire area. And then here, we're just do a nice little sanding to clean up any burrs. And you could go and add a little clear nail polish if it was frosted too much or you could buff it. Now we're doing this before we put the metal insert in. At this point, you're gonna dry fit. There you go. Make sure everything fits really nicely. And then we are going to grab some, I've got some BSI super glue here and I'll add a small bead around the flange. Now don't overdo the glue here, okay? You wanna add enough, but you don't need to add too much. It doesn't take a lot of uh, super glue. And then just nicely do a spin just to spread that glue out. And we're gonna let that piece sit and dry. And then we'll move to putting on the cap. So here we are, dry fit again. Look how nice that looks. Okay, now we'll add some glue. Really watch to make sure you don't get any into any of the threads. That's why it's important not to overdo the glue here. If you 
you feel like you get too much, just wipe it off with a cloth. All right, and a twist. There we go. Isn't that great? So the pins are, they have the screw cap now, so now everything's secure. Now you'll screw out the middle section that has the ink cartridge in it. Pop that out. And it is a screw drive uh, mechanism, so the suction. And so you fill the chamber just by twisting and drawing it up into the tube. And back into your pen. Now here I used uh, the purple, but I did switch to black uh, ink. Um, I had felt it had a better flow. And then here we are with the test. So I hope you really enjoyed this. Like I said, treat these pins um, just like you would do tumblers uh, or any other resin pin. You can put messages on them, you know, do all kinds of nail art treatments to them, layering ink processes. And of course, if you're using, you know, um, the epoxy resin stores, tumbler resin, it, it dries and cures real quickly. So you're going to be able to do these really nice layers. But there you have it. Perfect gifts and reusable, refillable. Thank you so much.